Hi, this is Tracy, and today I'm going to talk about narcissists and holidays, birthdays and occasions, and, and what you can expect, and what it all means. A normal collection of cards has lots of wonderful messages. You light up lives like magic fireflies in a jar. Normal people take holidays at what they're worth. Birthday parties, weddings, children's parties. We are excited for the birthday child party. We are excited for the parents that are having their child turn 10. It's a, it's a big occasion. But a narcissist tends to not like to go to these special occasions because they're not their thing. And if we look at the, I don't even know, not the red flags, but the behaviors of a narcissist, the reason they're not going to like going to an event like this is because we've taken away their power. This event, this 10-year-old birthday party is for that 10-year-old birthday party. And it's going to take away the attention of the narcissist. So that demands the attention of everyone. And so they're going to get lost in the crowd and they don't like that. They're not going to be the center of attention. And the rules and the things that they normally do, their tricks and everything that they do at a normal day is not going to work because the hoopla is around that little 10 year old child and the parents and all the friends and the grandparents. So they can become very deflated and they don't like to go to these things, but then they do. They do because it's A, they could totally get mad at you for making them go. They could also go for reasons that they're going to extrapolate out of the event. Narcissists go into events, especially family events, and they ruin them. We'll talk about that a little later. Um, but what I find is that narcissists actually can win an Academy Award for their performance at something that they don't want to be at. And they do that, they step up in a way that is so fake that now I can see it, and I hope that you can too, if you have a narcissist that does this. They could win an Academy Award for being the best helper, the kindest, sweetest, how can I help you? Oh, oh, the garbage is full, let me take that out for you. Um, they're doing that to get compliments. Why, thank you, Matt, that's so kind of you. Wow, all the other men are in the living room drinking beer and you're helping me put out the platters of chocolate chip cookies? Oh, what a nice person you are. Think about that. Isn't that them getting what they wanted? Yeah, they finally did it. They got from this party by helping out. I have a lot of planes. Um, helping out at this party, they're getting their, they're getting their, their, Accolades, they're getting rewarded. Also might try doing this, and this is what my last husband did, is they would become in public the perfect husband, the perfect everything, the perfect dad. Um, when my ex-husband was around my son at a party in front of people, he put his arm around him. Look at how proud I am of him. Me too. I was I was idolized at this party. It made me feel good. As a victim that just wants that kind of love and support for him to be doing it at a party and everyone sees, oh, what a great person he is. As a victim, that makes you feel really good. You're like, okay, this is good. You know how like some men or somebody will send you flowers to the office? Like that's like the best, right? You, you get flowers to the office and you're like, Look everyone, I have someone that loves me. This is the same technique that they use when they go to a party and they choose this option. This option versus pouting and ruining it, which we'll talk about in a minute. This option is to glorify themselves, put you on a pedestal, put your child on a pedestal, maybe the birthday child, you know, have them climb up their legs and run and do things with that child so that they're involved in the pictures that are taking, they're involved in all of the hoopla because they stuck their self in there. They're hijacking the party. And yet, this is, this is how they can gain control. When they 
you know, make us feel good. It 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 builds their 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 wall, their story, everything they they've told everyone about a relationship with someone. This is their best time to like, hey, it's perfect. Look at this. This is not real. Of course, when you're in it, you don't know that. But when you're when you're out and you can look back, look back. It's always look back. It's not like we can spot these guys and 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 see it before it happens, but look back. Did your narcissist put you on a pedestal in front of others and then go home and be a shit? Then go home and, and do the kind of things that they do that are closed doors items. That's when they do their real abuse. This fake party going person is definitely not the real person, but again, now, everybody you know has seen this wonderful person who cleaned the dishes and helped out at the party. That is your danger, and that's what you're going to be up against.